Now we have an NBC4 I-Team investigation. Three years after Michael Jackson's death, his fans, including Lady Gaga, are paying big bucks for items autographed by the late superstar. But are many of those autographs fakes? Our investigative reporter Joel Grover is here on the case for us. Joel. Well, Colleen, it seems like anything Michael Jackson autographed turns to gold. A recent auction of Jackson memorabilia made over $5 million in just one day. The I-Team got a tip that many of the autographs being sold there were fakes. So we decided to investigate. 4,000 is bid now. When the bidding began, 47.50 in the back of the room. There were plenty of people we're at $10,000 willing to pay sky high prices and selling at 30,000. But as you're about to see days later, some of these bidders will have buyer's remorse. You really feel like you're betrayed. How about 47.50? You're watching a recent auction at Julian's Auctions in Beverly Hills of Michael Jackson memorabilia. 12,000. Owned by the singer's longtime costume designers, Dennis Tompkins and Michael Bush. Everything from outfits worn by Jackson in concert <laughs> to signed album covers of his hit music to autographed clothing <laughs> were being snapped up by Jackson fans, 160. including Lady Gaga, who tweeted that she bought 55 pieces like this $180,000 signed jacket. <laughs> Dr. Joseph Goodman, a Beverly Hills dentist, I wanted something signed and paid over $4,000 for this jacket, even though he had concerns about the autographs. We live in a world where fraud is very prevalent and, you know, things can be copied very easily. That's why I rely on Julian's auction to do their homework. Work. The I-Team decided to do its homework. The images are fairly large on my screen. That's Roger Epperson, considered by some to be the world's best authenticator of Michael Jackson's signatures. He authenticates for some of the nation's biggest auction houses and sells memorabilia himself. On my computer screen side by side. We asked him to give us his expert opinion on 50 of the nearly 300 autographs in a Julian's auction. Of the 50, I don't think any of them were real that I saw. On his computer, Epperson put what he says is a real Jackson signature alongside signatures from the auctioned items. The shapes are wrong, the slants are wrong, the size is wrong, the, everything about them is wrong. Like the autograph on that jacket bought by dentist Joseph Goodman. The slant of the M in Michael. This one tends to lean towards the right this way, where a Michael Jackson, a real one, leans more to the left. Also suspicious to him, the N in Jackson. And it's looped and it almost looks like a small E, where it really should come to a to an arch into a point. There's a 0% chance that that's an authentic signature of Michael Jackson. Experts say authenticating autographs is not a science, but an expertise based on years of studying signatures. The I-Team wanted another opinion. So we sent 11 autographs from the Julian's auction to a company called PSA DNA, which authenticates for Christie's Auction House and eBay. Its expert opinion, all 11 autographs are likely not genuine Michael Jackson signatures. I don't know how to respond to it. That's Michael Bush, Michael Jackson's longtime costume designer who sold his signed Jackson memorabilia at the Julian's auction for close to $1.5 million. 900. Even though there were questions being raised about the autographs. Now I'm going to go fake a bunch of signatures and fake a bunch of clothes to destroy my reputation for 25 years of working for Michael. No. Our reputation's impeccable. Darren Julian is owner of Julian's Auctions. He says he's confident the autographs he sold are genuine. It comes directly from the source, the people who made the items for Michael Jackson. They come from someone who worked very close with Michael Jackson. Other big auction houses often work with third-party experts to authenticate autographs. To our knowledge, Julian's did not. I didn't get presented with any letter of authenticity by a third party. So now some customers who bought this stuff are demanding answers and possibly refunds. Do you still want that jacket? No, <laughs> no. If it's a fake signature, I don't think I'm interested anymore. We asked Julian's if anyone authenticated the autographs it just sold. They told us to contact Laura Woolley, but Woolley told the I-Team she's an appraiser, not an autograph authenticator, and she didn't authenticate any of the autographs in this recent auction. She did say, I have no reason to doubt Michael Bush. The provenance, that is the source of these signatures, is solid. Miss Woolley, we should point out, is a paid consultant to Julian's auctions. 
And finally, Darren Julian tells us if any of his buyers now think they bought a fake autograph, he'll give them their money back.